30 second pitch is a powerful tool that allows you to introduce yourself quickly and effectively, capturing the attention of potential employers, clients, and collaborators. But let's be real, condensing all that greatness into a short and impactful pitch is no easy task. In this video, we're diving deep into the art of crafting a compelling elevator pitch that leaves a lasting impact. And here's the best part, we're unlocking the power of AI technology, specifically chat GPT to supercharge your background, your experience, your goals, making those elevator moments count. Now, before we dive in, make sure you tap the like button below and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this. Thanks to advances in AI, ChatGPT is like having a professional speechwriter at your fingertips, ready to weave your experience, your skills, and your dreams into a compelling narrative that can fit into 30 seconds or less. And here's where it gets even more exciting. I've designed a practical worksheet that will guide you through each step of crafting your power-packed 30-second pitch, including creative ways to prompt ChatGPT to deliver the results you're aiming for. So use the link in the description below to grab your free download now. So before we jump into what you're going to say in your 30 second pitch, let's first look at the framework for a standout elevator statement. Every good elevator pitch contains four essential parts, a catchy introductory statement, a passion statement, then your unique value proposition and special skills, and finally, a call to action. So let's break it down step by step. Let's start with the first part. This needs to be a simple yet attention-grabbing statement that piques the curiosity of your listener, making them eager to learn more about you and your remarkable capabilities. So you'll begin by giving ChatGPT some general information about yourself, such as who you are, the number of years of experience you have, and then of course, the industry you're in. For example, you can prompt ChatGPT with something like, hi, I need help creating a compelling elevator pitch. Let's start with the first sentence. Can you help me make it interesting and attention grabbing? Here's a little bit about myself. I am a, and then list your position title or profession. I have, and then list the number of years of experience you have in the, and then list the industry that you're experienced in. Now feel free to personalize this prompt further by adding details such as the types of clients or businesses that you've worked with. It's pretty simple, right? You'll then dive deeper and share even more information with ChatGPT to help you create the next sentence of your pitch, which will be to show why you are passionate about what you do. In this case, your prompt will look something like, great, let's move on to the next section of my pitch. I'd like to demonstrate why I'm passionate about what I do. My passion lies in, and then list the specific area, and I've successfully helped clients and businesses, and then highlight a specific achievement or outcome you've had. So far, so good, right? Now, the next step is to include your value proposition and your special skills. So remember that your value proposition is the unique value that you offer to your targeted audience. It answers the fundamental question of why someone would want to offer you a new career opportunity. So to have ChatGPT help you with this portion of your elevator pitch, you can prompt it with something like, this is good, let's keep going. I would like the next sentence to mention my unique value proposition and special skills. What's unique about what I do is, and then list some of the biggest problems you've solved or your greatest accomplishments. My key skills include, and then list some of your key skills. Now this section of your pitch is super powerful because you're not only showing how you are different from others in your field, but you're also showcasing your strengths by mentioning a few of your most impressive achievements. And hey, I have another free resource for you. If you need assistance with prompts for ChatGPT, take a look at this cheat sheet right here. It's packed with proven prompts to optimize your job search, enhancing your resume and cover letter, mastering your job interviews, plus much, much more. I'll place a link for you down below. Now the pivotal moment in your elevator pitch is the conclusion where you leave the conversation with an assertive call to action. Remember, the purpose of a 30 second pitch is to continue the professional conversation and make a lasting impression. So let's ensure you have a compelling conclusion that sparks engagement and invites further interactions. One effective way to create a call to action is to prompt ChatGPT with something like, I would like to wrap up my 30 second pitch 
pitch with a strong and engaging call to action. Could you help me create a one sentence call to action that ends with an open ended question? You can tailor this call to action to align with your specific skills, industry, or even your target audience. It could be something as simple as exchanging business cards, connecting on LinkedIn, scheduling a follow up meeting, or even posting a thought provoking question. The key is to keep the conversation going and leave a lasting impression. With these results, you are now ready to refine and personalize your elevator pitch. Now remember, ChatGPT will generate a response that serves as the foundation of your elevator pitch. However, personalization is key. Take the generated pitch and add your own authentic touch, ensuring that it aligns with your personality, your goals, and even the specific context you'll be using it in. You know yourself best, so make sure the elevator pitch reflects your unique strengths and what you can bring to the table. And then finally, practice the delivery of your pitch. With your newly crafted elevator pitch in hand, it's time to practice and refine your delivery. Practice in front of a mirror, even though that might be awkward, with friends or family, or even record yourself to identify areas of improvement. I want you to pay special attention to your tone, your body language, and even your confidence. The more you practice, the more natural and impactful your delivery will become. Now click or tap the video right here to learn how to answer the interview question, tell me about yourself. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this and share this video with anyone you think it might help. And I'll see you in the next one.